Uh, if you think you can get away without shoveling, there are rules in place in most cities. You do have 24 hours to clear the driveways and sidewalks. And in Denver, city inspectors do thousands of inspections each winter to issue warnings to people who don't shovel. As you might imagine, most people did shovel after they got a visit, but some don't, and they get a $150 fine. If that doesn't work, their next visit is a $500 ticket, and the city has given out at least a dozen of those in the past. So how you shovel also matters to your health. Push the snow. Don't try to lift it. Obviously, that would hurt your back. Shovel into your yard so the snow doesn't block a bike or a turn lane. Also, please clear snow from any fire hydrants, bus stops or sidewalk ramps near your home. So we know shoveling the snow is miserable, especially when it's cold and it's heavy. There's a lot of it out there right now. Sky Ridge Medical Center ER Dr. Adam Barkin told us they see heart attack patients during every snowstorm. Go slow. That cold temperature actually puts excess stress on your heart. So if you need to ask for help shoveling or shovel in stages or go inside and warm up for a few minutes, it's always reasonable. And the other thing to keep in mind is just pay attention to your body. If you start having chest pain or shortness of breath or any other concerning symptoms, feeling like you're going to faint, the best thing to do is go inside. And if you're really feeling poorly, um, seek medical attention immediately. Some good advice there. Dr. Barkin says when you go outside to shovel or just walk the dog or if you're taking transit to work, cover as much of your skin as possible and wear loose layers. He says loose layers help you retain heat better than tight fitting clothes.